Hey everyone, um, doing some work on the 6.5 turbo truck today. Uh, what we're doing is we're making some changes to the glow plug system. Uh, <clears throat> anybody that's owned a 6.5 or a 6.2 GM or even the old Oldsmobile 350 diesel, if you've ever owned one, you, I'm sure for any, if you've ever owned one for any length of time, I'm sure at some point in time you had a headache with the glow plug system. And what I had going with this truck for a while was the glow plug controller would run way longer than what it needed to, which, you know, really isn't a problem. It's kind of more of an annoyance. So bought a new glow plug controller, replaced my glow plugs too because I figured it was time and the ones had been in there a while and, you know, nothing's worse than having them seized or, you know, break off that's kind of a problem if you leave them in too long so <clears throat> then the next problem i had was the new glow plug controller wouldn't run long enough and also i have an issue with when the truck's hot you know it, it's technically designed in a way that when the engine is warm or over a certain temperature it will not turn the glow plugs on because it should fire anyway which mine does but sometimes it doesn't um, usually I have to put the pedal to the floor and it'll start and I just I don't like doing it that way just because you're you know you don't take your foot off fast enough now you're running high rpm with not much oil pressure on startup so what I did was I put in a still have the original glow plug controller but i added in a manual controlled um, i just pieced something together i actually used a starter solenoid for a ford so what we're going to do now is i'm going to show you what i did <coughs> so down there that is the factory glow plug controller this side is power in, and this is basically a solenoid. When it turns on, it sends power to this side out to the glow plugs, and that's about all there is to it. There actually is a little computer board inside there. Um, that's what, you know, technically how it's supposed to work is you turn the key on, the glow plugs come on, they shut off, you start the truck, and then it'll pulse the glow plugs a couple of times upon startup to you know help with rattle and smoke now there's a few places that sell a kit to do a manual control and i believe they mount up here someplace and then they you know pull power from here up to the selenite up here and then power back down to this side and then you have a push button in the truck um, i don't really like that so I did something different and, you know, for cheaper because a lot of this, you know, I don't need to pay somebody for wire when I have lots of wire. So what I did is I ran a, basically a small battery cable off the positive side of the driver's side battery. And I did it along the fender well. And then here's one of them uh, Ford starter solenoids that they would mount to the inside of the fender. Obviously the yellow wire goes in the truck for the push button and then that other one runs alongside the engine and hooks up into here. <clears throat> I'm not going to go over wire gauges or how to run them, I'll just leave that up to you. Just be mindful of the fact that, you know, don't zip tie a power wire to the exhaust manifold. <clears throat> And then, let's see here, wait for the camera to focus, it's bright out. So there's my push button, just mounted it below the steering wheel. I've got to tie my wires up, you know, yellow wire come from the starter solenoid, red wire is my power wire. And what I did was I plugged it into the fuse panel on a 12 volt positive terminal, even when the key is off. Um, it's up to you if you want to do it on a keyed source or a not keyed source. I don't really see what the harm is on doing it on a non-keyed. This way I figure 
I can turn the glow plugs on even when the key's off so I could run them a few seconds and then I can turn the key on and then I can just start the truck like normal. So, I mean, it's really up to you on how you guys want to do it, run it. I just figured I'd show off kind of how I did. Um, you know, disclaimer, I'm not responsible if you burn your truck to the ground. So we'll just see how this goes. This is mainly just to help me out on warm startups. I can hit the button for a few seconds and the truck will fire right up. So, thanks for watching.